Here we have another example. Here it says, spin that the flow chart and answer the question that follows. Perform a dry run on the flow chart. This is the purpose of the flow chart. So this is the items. These are the items that we have. This is our decision. Our decision is so important. Someone was asking, what do we determine to put, okay, well, how, how this this is supposed to be in our dry run? In simple terms, I told you, you look on what you are printing. So it means that what you are printing should be in your dry run. And also, this decision you can be but so that they don't get lost, also put the decision in the table. But it's that the case we are printing is related with the end, it's also put the end in the table. That's the basic idea of what you put into the dry run. So let us start with now. This means that these are the values of end and S we are starting with. So the first information we are giving you here is what we start with. So they are telling us that start with n equaling to zero and s equaling to zero. Then they are asking you, then you come like this is n equal to 10. The answer is our n is our n is zero. So the answer is no. If the answer is no, we are telling them come back. Now on the end, you had you add one. Then we add one of the zero, we get this. Then how do we after getting n? They are telling us that now this is how we get the s. We get s which will be now 0 plus n which is 1 now q which will give us a 1 so that is the item that's how this is our s we are adding that to get that so our n you see is 1 is it equal to 10? no if it's not add 1 so the simple that we add when we add 1 on this we get a 2 so this now we shall, we shall really have now 1 plus 2 q each which will give us, because this is our end, so this will give us 8 plus 1, which is 9. So our end is 2. The answer is no. Add 1, we get 3. Now this will be 9 plus 3, the whole cubic. What do we get there? I think that is 36. 36. Our n is 3. Is it equal to that? No. What happens? Add a 1. We get 4. Now you have 36 plus. Now 4. Cumulative. What do you get there? The answer you get there is 64. I think it's 100. 100. Then add a 1. Because our n here is giving us uh, our n is giving us four, which is no, it's not equal to ten. If it's no, come back in the previous n, add one. When I add one, this I get four. Now we get the s. Our s now here is this, so we get a hundred plus five cubed. What answer do we get there? I think it was two hundred. Okay. 25. Yeah, 225. Our n is 5. The answer is no. It's not equal to that. Add 1, we get 6. So we shall have now this 2, 2, 5 plus 6 cubed, which will be now in cubed 6. No, on the previous n, add a 1. Get s, the previous s, add n cubed. So when we get this now, plus 7 cubed, 7 cubed, we get 7, 8. Now I'm skipping this because now I think it's clear. I get, okay, I get 4, 4, 1, plus 7 cubed, and the answer I'm having is 7, 8. Four. My n is seven, and the answer is no. Add a one, I get eight. We have now seven, eight, four. 
plus 8 cubed, which will give us plus, you get 1, 2, 9, 1, 2, 9, 6, our n is 8, is it, is n equal to n, no, add 1, get that, so this will be now, Okay, when we get this now, get the answer, then we are adding 9 cubed, we get 200, 2, 5, and our n is 9, the answer is no, it's not equal to 10. If it's no, come back, on the n add 1, if we add 1, we get 10. When we get now this answer, then we put 10 cubed. I think that's 1,000, so it's going to be like 3, 0, 2, 5. And now is my n equal to 10? Is n equal to 10? The answer is yes. What happens if it's a yes? You have to have that print s. Now it's like my s. They are telling us what they are telling you to print is what you print. Don't put what they have not told you. So now here, print. Now I'm printing S. So start my S. The last value of the S is 3, 0, 2, and then 5. So that's what I'm doing. Printing. Stay the purpose. This was our part F. Stay the purpose of the whole chart. Now you see what I'm, what I'm printing doing. We are getting this plus another. You see the idea. Get this cube, add the next cube. This cube, add the next cube. This cube, add the next cube. And so on. So, the simple terms, we are sending cubes of the first 10 whole numbers. So, our purpose. So, you start this figure here. When you get all these cubes, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube plus this cube, we shall get that. Uh -huh. The purpose is, is painting, computing, computing, and painting, painting the sum, okay, the sum of cubes of the past. Then, all numbers, all numbers, simple as that. So, why am I calling them all numbers? Because they're starting from zero. All numbers start from zero. Counting numbers, all natural numbers start from one. So, we start with starting from eight. So the first ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Simple as that. So that's the numbers we are having that. So as simple as that. That's how we get the purpose. I don't need the purpose. Look at what we are printing. And then focus. We said we are getting this cube, this cube, this cube. We are summing them. What we get after we sum? How to get after we sum? In simple terms, this question we can tell you. But that's the numbers. We are going to see another example about this book. But please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and notify. The updates always.